everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back with another tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, welcome, I know it's been a minute, sorry you guys. Um, and thank you so much for 44,000 subscribers. Um, if you guys are new to the channel or the video, feel free to just hit that subscribe button, it means so much to me. Um, today we're going to be going straight into the social chat system. Um, now, by this title, you may be a little confused, you may be like, okay, I thought we are making something. We're not really making it, we're really just going to look at this thing that someone already made, and we're going to implement it into our game. Uh, which is really nice so all the links are actually in the description so feel free to just go check out all those links um the discord and this model right here um this is going to be through theirs now and i'm actually going to go explain this step by step kind of through their documentation which th this link will be there as well but um social chat is made by evelyn right here which is awesome um and it has a lot of cool things we got like custom emojis which is really really cool um and it, it's basically a brand new like system um chat system i guess you could say it's got gradient effects which is just amazing, um, as you can tell. Um, and it's got some really cool bubble chats as well. So yeah, this is like a really like new advanced way of like making things. Um, this is really if you want it in your game or not. It's really cool. Um, it's just something different, you know. But yeah, so all we're really gonna do is we're gonna actually just download this right here. You can hit get metal model or download, it's gonna be right there. And we're going to implement this into our game. So let me head over to studio. All right. So now that we're in studio, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to the model tab and you're just going to click this button and you're going to download this and put it in here. Or if you did claim it in your inventory, it should be in the toolbox section under inventory. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this. So it's actually really simple. Um, you can just put this in server script service and you can read it, of course, um, putting it where normal scripts run. So if you like to configure things, go to the configuration folder. But um, what it's doing here is it's going to require the module that is the main module. Um, I had to talk to her about this because uh, it had some issues where it was actually requiring something that is not even existent. But now this is working. So, yeah, you basically put it in server script service and you're able to just play the game and it should work if I'm correct. Um, okay, so it really kind of looks like there is a few things that might need fixing. I don't know if I'm right, but it looks like it just took a sec to load in. And once it loads in, like, you can get all this stuff. So, as you can tell, there's... Um, all this got extensions. I might be better in game. I think right now it's a little screwed up because I'm not doing it in game um, But yeah, so settings like this has a bunch of settings in it. Uh, you can do hover names stuff like that um, So like let's say you click on social chat. Um, we got the emojis right here that we were talking about um, Basically just all this stuff. So like you know, it says I'm typing which is kind of cool. I like how it does that Hello. Um but yeah, so it's like a simple way of things. Um, I know there's a lot like probably that could be fixed, but you know, chat bubble span, you know, looks like there's like font size, rentable messages, like turn that down. So these are all customizable to yourself. Um, bubble chat is enabled, you know, you know, got the that's turned off now. So if you need to disable that, which is it's, that's what I love about this, is it you know you can really make things nice. Um, but yeah, so it kind of already disabled the chat for you. So that's what was wrong was it takes a sec to load in and once it's loaded in, then you're good. Um, but yes, uh, simple stuff like that. Let's go talk about the configuration part. Cause I know you guys are going to be wondering like, okay, twin, how do I, um, add some things into it? So, uh, I, I'll, I'll really have to look at this in general. Cause I don't, I've never really actually like looked in here. So if we look in channels, okay. So hide chat. Um, you can hide the chat frame. If set to true, the chat frame will be hidden. Own players will only be through bubble chat. That's pretty cool. Markdown. People can use markdown to, okay, idle time. Um, username highlights, all that stuff. Phrases. Um, dance emotes. Max distance. Da -da 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 -da. Um, simple stuff like that. And then I think we have chat tags right here. Okay, so this is basically... Uh, people who want to um, make your own tag so as you can tell it kind of went right here so if you were to uncomment this right here you should be able to actually do it yourself so mary is a uh a name so what i'd recommend doing is uh changing this to uh okay you could just say whatever you could say your name let's just do that put your user id in here um, it looks like this is group ID accepted rank. So if you're in the group, so this one should be group actually. If you're in the group, basically it's going to, um, and it's this rank, let's say, um, it's going to give you this stuff. So like creators, the name, um, priority order is a big thing as well. Um, so, okay, so right here as well is another thing. So let's say we wanted to make another one. You just basically copy and paste this and go down here. And we would say, okay, twin plays, this one's for me. 
um, we wouldn't need a group ID, um, we would just do user ID, and uh, we'd put your user ID, if you don't know how to grab that, just go to your profile, it should be this little ID thing right here, um, and once you do that, copy and paste that right here, um, and then you can say creator again, um, I'll actually probably just do that off, um, creator, and then we have the color tags right here, so this is the tag, which is saying my thing on the left of your name, so I would like make this red, but like your actual username, what would you want that to be? Maybe red, but like a lighter red. Let's go like that. Um, I don't know if she has a chat tag color. Um, I think there is. I think I kind of was like a color for the thing. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> you kind of get the point here. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, it loaded right here. And it has my creator tag. And it has my name. And there you go. So that's pretty much the idea of that. Um, I don't know how donations investor hmm i'm really curious how the uh gradients work so oh you know what yeah wait hold on okay so i did digged a little deeper so i didn't even realize that they got the shade one shared one right here so bubble chat like you can check if you can automatically make it off if you don't want bubble chat in your game um this is an automatic like lifespan thing these are just things that were already in general um display thinking bubble you know if they're typing it um stuff like this this is talking about the text bubble color all that kind of jazz you can make it a black bu bubble color if you want to do black bubble chat uh, but style so this is where the gradient is actually so um i'm really curious how you actually make this because it looks like there's a gradient right here key points duration 0.5 um and this is a certain color sequence um but that is the styles so i have to look at that there might be a thing you put in here that talks about uh style so i'll double check with that and i'll put it in the comment section because i'm a little, little confused on that part um but yeah i hope you guys understand uh kind of understand it in a sorts um and yeah these are all the emojis too so it looks like it's grabbing a extension i don't know or it's just grabbing a image labels all right well Hope you guys enjoy the little tutorial or little little talk about social chat. It's a great tool. You guys should put it in your game if you really want to like, you know, just have some cool different kinds of uh, things. I mean, it really depends. Like if your game's a social game, then definitely put it in. You know, it, it's really about like what your game's about and what you want to do in it. So hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Everything will be in the description. So feel free to check that out. Um, yeah, everyone. Um, I will see you in the next video. Sorry for the delay of things. And um,